said carpenter never used tech hammer to pound nail, nor sledgehammer to drive home tech. <laughs> well, that's certainly nothing but the truth. And when you're choosing a truck to do a particular job for you, you naturally pick the right capacity and body style to do a profitable job. Now, if your truck is tops in economy, dependability, and loadability, if it is geared to your job, it can mean a cash difference to you. And in the one-half, three-quarter, and one-ton field, as in every weight class, you'll find a Dodge truck geared to your job. Geared to make more money for you because it's job rated. Now here's an example of what job rated means. In the one ton class, Dodge offers the buyer the right one of two wheelbases and two body lengths to fit his job. But if he buys a Ford, he must be content with only one wheelbase and one body length. As another example, Consider the job-rated power offered by Dodge engines. Dodge offers one engine job-rated for the one-half and three-quarter ton field, another engine for the one-ton field, and still another engine for the one-and-a-half ton field, and so on up the capacity range. Ford, on the other hand, offers only two engines up through the one-and-a-half ton range and leaves it up to the buyer to select either one whether he buys a half, three-quarter, one, or one-and-a-half ton truck. Now, in our opinion, by providing the right job-rated engine at the factory, Dodge gives the truck buyer a definite advantage of the right combination of job-rated power and economy not offered by Ford. Now, as we compare the trucks point by point, you'll note still more Dodge advantages in job-rated design. So suppose we start with a close look at the engines. First of all, for smoother, quieter performance, the Dodge has floating power type engine mountings that hold the engine in balance, high in front, low in back, to minimize engine pulsation. Ford mounts its engine at just one level, so noise and vibration are not reduced so effectively. Another Dodge advantage, wear on the cylinder walls is greatly reduced because the Dodge engine has top piston rings that are chrome-plated. They let you break in your Dodge engine faster, too. Also, the Dodge protects its engine from the sludge and dirt that may collect in the bottom of the crankcase. That's because it has a floating oil intake that admits only the cleanest oil from just beneath the surface. The Ford intake is at the bottom and dual fuel filters on the Dodge deliver a one-two punch to any dirt or dust that might come in with the gasoline. The Ford has just one fuel filter. A waterproof ignition system is one of the most important contributions to dependable Dodge performance. Believe it or not, you can actually turn a hose on the Dodge engine and she'll keep right on purring. But don't try that on a Ford engine with its unprotected ignition system. Dodge waterproof ignition not only means quick, dependable starts on damp days, but it means that road splash and wet weather can't stall your Dodge in the middle of a job. What's more, a bigger 40-amp generator on the Dodge means a fully charged battery for sure starts anytime, even when you're running extra lights and a heater. The Ford has only a 35-amp generator. And this is important. The Dodge starting gears engage before the starting action begins, so it's practically impossible to strip the starting gears in the Dodge engine. Now we'll compare the Dodge and Ford chassis. The most obvious difference is a Dodge feature that's cutting truck costs and raising driver efficiency for thousands of Dodge owners. It's gyro fluid drive. Yes, fluid drive, long and outstanding feature of Dodge passenger cars, is now available on Dodge half through one ton trucks to slash your maintenance bills. And here's how. Every time you start a truck, there's a jolt as the engine power is applied to the drive line and the rear wheels. And if you hire an inexperienced driver, 
There's apt to be some hard jolts that build up big repair costs. But Dodge Fluid Drive sends that engine power through a cushion of oil to save wear and tear on more than 80 driveline parts, from the clutch through the transmission and differential right down to the rear tires. And what's more, there will be less gear shifting with fluid drive in your truck. You can slow down to a few miles an hour without bucking or jerking. And then pick up smoothly without shifting. And when you come to a stoplight, stop and idle in gear. When you start, you can start in second gear if you're empty or carrying a light load. And notice how smoothly you'll start. Yes, fluid drive will pay off by slashing repair bills and it will pay off by letting you complete more calls each day with less driver strain than standard trucks. Gyro Fluid Drive is available on Dodge and only on Dodge. Longer rear springs are another big plus built into every Dodge chassis. A feature that means more driver comfort and a safety factor for fragile loads too. Dodge standard front springs in these trucks are six inches longer than Ford's. And Dodge rear springs are seven inches longer than Ford's. Those are extra inches of flexibility you'll appreciate. And here's a safety feature that drivers are sure to appreciate. The Dodge gas tank is assembled in the chassis with a steel cab floor between the tank and the driver. But here's the Ford gas tank, right behind the driver's seat. Now that's not only a fire hazard, but the flexible filler hose may crack and let dangerous gasoline fumes escape. But now let's get inside the cabs and see how Dodge gives you the extra comfort features that let you do more and better work because the Dodge cab makes driving less tiring. There's more room for an extra helper in the Dodge cab Three inches more shoulder room and over five inches more seat width than these three men would have in a Ford cab. There's more leg room too, two inches more, so the Dodge driver can stretch out and relax behind the wheel. The Dodge driver will have four and three eighths inches more space between seat back and steering wheel and over an inch more space between steering wheel and seat. Even big drivers won't be cramped in a Dodge cab. And the Dodge has a four inch greater seat adjustment range than the Ford because Dodge has a full seven inch range in which the driver can pick his most comfortable driving position. To adjust the cushioning effect of his seat, the Dodge driver operates this lever and the aero ride seat becomes softer or firmer to the driver's order. Ford doesn't have this feature. For extra safety, the Dodge windshield is 263 square inches bigger than the Ford windshield. For extra convenience, the Dodge gear shift lever is on the steering column. Ford still puts its lever in the middle of the floor where it's in the way of the driver if he uses the right hand door. And in addition to its standard cab, Dodge offers deluxe and custom cabs with such features as rear quarter windows, electric windshield wipers, armrests, dome lights, and others that you can't get on a Ford at the factory. As Wise Way too would say, It is said trucks are like people. Many small differences all add up to very large difference. So far, we've compared Dodge job-rated trucks in the half-ton, three-quarter ton, and one-ton classifications with those of Ford. Now, let's compare the half-ton truck chassis in particular, where we find, first, that a smaller turning diameter is another Dodge advantage to make driving easier and get jobs done faster. For instance, Dodge has a five-and-a-half-foot shorter left turn diameter and a five foot shorter right turn diameter. You see, Dodge has a shorter wheelbase for easier maneuvering, six inches shorter in the half ton pickups, although Dodge offers just as much load space behind the cab as Ford does. Dodge has another advantage in springs. 
an optional light spring for extra driver comfort on light service work such as this. The extra light spring protects extra fragile loads too. And for still more protection for light loads, Dodge, but not Ford, offers extra soft super cushion tires as special equipment. Now, Dodge uses a truck transmission where Ford uses a passenger car type transmission. Ford does have an extra cost transmission for half-ton trucks, but the extra cost transmission for Ford owners has only a trifle more torque capacity than the standard Dodge transmission. Ford may advertise bonus built, but the bonus is standard equipment on Dodge. And say, here's a Dodge feature that's sure to cut down your service trouble. The Dodge rear axle carries its load on an adjustable, tapered roller bearing. The Ford uses a ball bearing which cannot be adjusted to compensate for wear. Then, there's extra safety in the Dodge because Dodge engineers realized that a loaded truck carries most of the weight on its rear wheels and a well-designed brake system should give those rear wheels extra braking force. So. On the Dodge half-ton, and incidentally on the three-quarter ton as well, the rear wheel brake shoes are operated by two cylinders, one for each shoe. Ford depends on one cylinder to operate both shoes. And Dodge has cycle bond brake linings, which have no rivets but are bonded to the shoe for longer wear. Ford linings, however, are riveted. While for everyday parking and emergency use, Dodge gives you extra safety with an independent parking brake. This operates on the drive shaft, independent of the service brakes. And incidentally, while we're on the subject of brakes, on the Dodge one-ton trucks, the rear brakes have a stepped cylinder that gives the most push to the shoe that needs the most push. A balancing action that provides easy, sure stops. But Ford uses the same brake cylinder design for the one ton as on its lower tonnage trucks. Now, in addition to the advantages that all Dodge trucks have, let's consider some of the plus features that the Dodge three-quarter ton and one ton trucks in particular have over Ford. First of all, Ford uses a split differential housing, which is not only weaker than the Dodge housing, but harder to service. You have to put the Ford truck on a hoist to remove the differential. But you can work on the Dodge differential with the weight on the axle housing, even on the road if necessary. The Dodge gives you a three-speed transmission as standard equipment, while Ford has a four-speed transmission standard. Now, here's why a three-speed transmission does a good job for you. You see, a three-speed transmission is all you need even with maximum loads except under unusual conditions for which your Dodge can be equipped with a fourth speed as extra equipment. As Wise Way 2 would say about Ford's four-speed transmission as standard equipment, Wise Hunter does not carry cannon to shoot rabbits. Finally, the Dodge one-ton chassis has another advantage in lower floor height, over two inches lower than Ford, for easier handling of heavy loads. Now let's compare pickup, panel, and stake bodies in the three weight classifications and see some of the added benefits the Dodge buyer gets. Starting with the smaller pickups, we find the Dodge has a body more than two inches deeper than the Ford pickup body. And by the way, the versatile Dodge line includes a low side pickup, optional at no extra cost, where preferred for easy handling of heavy loads. The Dodge high side pickup has five and a quarter cubic feet more space than Ford and carries more payload too. If you're interested in a medium sized pickup, you should know that the Dodge Model C carries 327 pounds more payload than Ford's F2. In larger pickups, a Dodge D116 will let you carry over 45% more than the Ford F3 a 1,285-pound payload advantage. And 
Dodge offers another one-ton pickup that Ford has nothing to compare with. The Dodge D-126 has a nine and a half cubic foot larger capacity and carries an 1160 pound greater payload than Ford's largest pickup. Now, turning from the pickup bodies, let's see how the Dodge and Ford panel trucks compare. First, let's take a look inside and see how they're built. Notice those horizontal slats? They're steel on the Dodge, but wood on the Ford. And again, Dodge uses four upright pillars made of steel, where Ford uses just three pillars, and one of them is wood. And notice that Dodge uses three roof bows, while Ford has just two. You'll probably agree that the more complete all-steel panel body construction means longer life for the Dodge panel truck. As for size, the Dodge panel interior, including the space to the right of the driver, is over 11 cubic feet bigger, and therefore gives additional payload space not available on the Ford panel truck. Now let's check the stake trucks. Dodge dependability takes another lead over the Ford truck. Since all Dodge stake truck bodies have an all steel sill, Ford is using a wooden sill. And of course, it can't be expected to stand up as long as the Dodge. In the smaller models, the Dodge C116 stake with 5,800 pounds GVW provides a 272 pound payload advantage over the Ford F2, which has a GVW of 5,700 pounds. In the medium size, the Dodge D116 stake at 6,800 pounds GVW gives you an 80 pound greater payload capacity than the Ford F3. Now, in the larger stakes with 7,500 pounds GVW, the Dodge D126 has over 600 pounds payload advantage over the Ford F4. And now, the big news. With all their bigger capacities and extra value features, Dodge job-rated trucks are right down in Ford's price class. And remember, Dodge has the payload capacity that makes a truck pay off. For in all truly comparable cases, Dodge gives you bigger payload capacities. And unlike Ford, the Dodge engine is designed for the job. Designed to give you the power you need, plus the economy you want. The chassis and its components are matched to do a better job for you. Unlike Ford, they're tailored to the loads you carry. So here's the truck that's really geared to your job. The Dodge Job Rated Truck. Job Rated for economy, for performance, and for lasting dependability.